Good morning everybody it is 20 past 11 um, I've just been working on the checks and stuff and I've returned calls already we were getting calls in at 8.15 this morning so uh, I've been doing that uh, Ash is still asleep I did hear her moving around she may be asleep or she may just be looking at her phone or watching something upstairs she was going to take it easy this morning we are going to go over and watch my nieces game over at the high school tonight pete has some team pictures to do here and then he's going to give us a call and maybe come over to meet us over there so who knows maybe we'll stop and get something to eat on the way home i edited so much stuff out last night because i was so tired and i was talking to you guys as if i was three sheets to the wind so i was like so embarrassed because i was talking about work i yawned about 50 times pete and i uh, pete and i have started setting everything up or should I say Pete's setting everything up Pete and I had like an hour and a half two hour confab going over everything that's coming up have the football league coming up so we are doing one there's only one of the bigger kids teams which we're doing in a couple of weeks they're playing on the 30th I think which is a week from Sunday I think following two weeks later which will be the middle of October already which scares me we're doing the rest of the teams that's a big day. We've uh, emailed Alan to see if he can work with us and I'm going to ask Ash if she can try and get that day off even though I don't want to get her into trouble because she asked for days off to work with us and I know, I think sometime in November she can't request time off until January because it's their holiday blackout days or something like that but I really need her on these days like, you know, the underclassmen I needed her and then this, t this group I need her too. And then that's over and then we start, we're trying to set up the the ice hockey league that we picked up last year, have asked us to do it again this year. Now last year we went in after Thanksgiving, it was a uh, couple of weeks before Christmas. We're going to see when they want to start, if they want to do it before Thanksgiving this year, which was what we were going to try and do last year. Your book might meetings start next week and then Pete sent an email to the school requesting all these Saturdays for senior portrait. There's like eight of them. So I think start, I forget when he's starting it, but I will be sitting in the school every Saturday. And then the Sundays we'll be doing the football because then Pete does, what does Pete do? Action shots of the football league. So yeah, it's before I know it because of our schedule now that I'm seeing it on paper and I've got to bring my planner down I didn't get to put anything in it yesterday I have to put everything in there because between all the school things that he's set up for the different teams and the leagues that we've set up and then the senior portraits it's going to be my favorite saying go 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 my head is full of dates right now so basically there's no no fun coming up for the next few weeks but at some point we have to go to that Barton Orchards. We went last two years, last two years? Yeah, the last two years we went and um, it's fun to go apple picking but we want to go earlier this year because a lot of the trees were bare when we got there. I'm going to go Ash and I have decided we're going to leave around 5.30 because we're going to my niece's game. Um, so we're going to go to the bank on the way. So rather than go out, come back, go out, come back, we're going to do that. So yes, I've cooked up some chicken. I had the chicken out for the other night. And yesterday we went to Stu Leonard's to basically get our um, the tank refilled for the barbecue. Uh, we get there and Pete forgot, <laughs> forgot to put it in the car, which was the main, <coughs> the main reason we were going, so I was laughing. Anyway, um, so we couldn't cook the chicken yesterday. Well, I could have, but I totally forgot I had all those um, saucy packets. Well, I don't know what's so saucy that the lodge guy sent me. So I'm like, ah, so today rather than because I thought if I leave the chicken much longer it's not gonna be any good i'm gonna end up throwing it away so i um cooked it up just now the house smells amazing so i've cooked it up this way we can either put it on salads or 
just heat it up with potatoes or whatever over the weekend because Pete's in and out so much. So that's it really guys. I just figured I'd come back on and say hello. We made the best eggs and bacon and we just sat here and watched um, four holidays, four Christmases. We decided we wanted to watch a Christmas movie so that's what we did. And I enjoyed it. The phones are pretty quiet at the minute. Knock knock. Twice for luck. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I've answered all the calls I've had to answer for now. Got everything ready for the bank. And it's two o'clock, so the day is moving quick. I'm gonna go upstairs shortly. I'm just waiting for my Avon to come. So I wanna wait down here a bit longer. I'm hoping it comes before we leave. So then it's not sitting out on the doorstep. There's a couple of big boxes coming. I've got the new books coming and all that fine stuff. I can't wait to smell this perfume. I really, really hope I like it because I'm really psyched for it coming. I haven't bought a perfume in a long time. I've emptied a couple of bottles and it's, I want the play, you know the play by Givenchy? Well, you can't seem to buy it over here anymore. They used to sell it at Bloomies, no, nope. they used to sell it at Macy's, Nordstrom, Sephora, Ulta, none of them have it anymore. I did find it on Amazon, but it's the old bottle and it makes me nervous, like is it really it or is it a knockoff, you know? Because it's about half the price. Tell me, can you buy play where you are? It's in a pink bottle. And they changed the bottles to a, it used to be a pink, almost like a metal looking bottle, which used to get all scratched up because I had a mini one I used to carry in my bag. Um, but the last one I got was in a glass bottle that kind of, it's pink and then it fades to just pure glass at the bottom. And I really liked it. I've kept the bottle because I love the smell of this perfume, but I cannot find it anywhere at the moment. Not that I should be buying anything, but I've been looking now for about four months. I don't know, let me know. Okay, we just did the bank and it kept spitting checks back out at me, so I've got to deal with them another day. We tried how many times with those? Three? Yep. So, gave up. But we're on our way to Paige's game, it's only 10 to 6. But Paulette said that it's senior night, so there might be tough time parking. So even if, we, damn seniors. even if we sit in the car for a little while, oh, we'll go get our spot. Why can't you meet up? at the parking lot and take a shuttle over. Yeah. Like what they did for the Warriors. It's not their homecoming game already, is it? It might be. Because it has to be a home game. Yeah. And this is their last one. Guys, uh, Already? Yeah. We're gonna throw it out now before we get close to the police officer. Oh, there's a police officer down here? It's in front of me. Oh, it is? Yeah. He's throwing out a neon green gum. Yeah. Pretty house. This is a song that where he was dancing and doing the fake in my feelings challenge too. When we were on that bus. Yeah. Now she's all in a maroon fur. I'm really dramatic today and extra. And it's all for the gram. Oh, all for the gram. I'm like, which yeah. gram? Gram, Instagram. Okay guys, we're really early, but Let warned us because it's homecoming. And we actually got to park on the posh side, nearest the stands. <laughs> Didn't we? Yeah. She's taking a picture of herself? No. That's who they're playing. Don't know who they are. Just bought her sweats and t-shirt, didn't you? And our athletic director, Mr. Was that Page Chris turning Lano, around? And the entire Harrison Board of On this side? Yeah. Like yeah, turning around now. Yeah. Yeah. Varsity football game between the horsemen of Sleepy Hollow and the Huskies of Harrison. Your daughter compares herself to Jean Simmons. <laughs> I'll show you the picture. Because of, she says her hair looks like his because it got a little frizzy, she said. A little, she said. <laughs> that was the breeze at the game. Now it's humid for some reason. And your thoughts? Your thoughts? <coughs> your thoughts on the matter? She looks better than Jean Summers. Thank God. <laughs> Are you going to show me or should I turn it off? Old guy. You don't have it anymore, okay. Hey everybody, we're home. It is 11.21. Huskies won! <laughs> 53 to 14, something crazy. 
but uh, yeah they won it was a good game a couple of lads got hurt but they were okay one got taken off and was hanging out in the back of the what you call it cart for a while but they have a young lady on their team she's a senior also and she was in playing tonight too which was good but yeah it was a good game it was fun to sit out there with pete came over and met us over there after he finished doing all the pictures at our high school and tomorrow i'm going to go to the game here in the afternoon with him and uh, watch the band even though i don't think the band are actually doing their presentation marching i think they're all going to stand still and do it in the arc but i am going to go to the game anyway ash has to work so unfortunately she can't come but i feel i need to go to need to go to a one of our home games now we do have been to an away one though so we have been anyway guys i'm gonna love and leave you for now i did get my husky shirt today um my harrison huskies because we will be going to the big rivalry game which is the rye harrison game which thousands and thousands of people go to so i will be going to that one with everybody Right, I'm going to love and leave you for tonight. I hope everybody's had a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant Friday. Whatever it is you did today, I hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good night.